promise I did not wear this for SantaCon. Did you guys see those people today on the street? Those disgusting fucks. <laughs> I call it uh, the white people whose parents pay their rent pride parade. Last year I went to Aruba. I was trying to uh, relax a little bit, so I went down to Aruba. I thought that would be relaxing. But I booked the early flight for my vacation. You ever booked the early flight for your vacation? Then you get there before your hotel room is ready? That's not relaxing. I got there at noon. I'm like, I'd like to check in. I'm like, you can check in, but your room is not ready yet. I was like, so I can not check in? And she's like, no, you can check in. You just can't have a room. I think we have different understandings of what checking in means. Without a room, I'm just checking in with you personally. I don't really care about you, no offense. I don't want to get in a big fight though, because I was trying to relax. I was like, you know what, don't even worry about it. I'll just go take a nice relaxing walk on the beach in my jeans and North Face jacket. Because I flew to Aruba from New York City in February. Is there a more psychotic look than walking up a white sandy beach dragging luggage behind you? I'm like, Sorry about your sandcastle. I'm an idiot. I booked the early flight. <laughs> Get this sand out of my wool socks. It's cuffing season, and your girl was a cuffing season all-star. <laughs> because this is when my people, and when I say my people, I mean fat. <laughs> and if a single one of you white women comes up to me after this fucking show going, you're not fat, you're beautiful. Bitch, I know that. <laughs> One does not cancel out the other. We've all seen ugly, skinny people. Quit fucking with me. <laughs> but this is a special time of year where skinny chicks take a knee because they can't keep anybody warm at night. <laughs> I've been on Pinterest stocking up, you know, recipes, getting that Netflix queue ready. We finna cuddle, okay? <laughs> Laying next to me with an electric blanket, you'll never leave. <laughs> Man, I'm from Chicago, man. I've been in LA about a year, man. It's cool, there's some differences. I noticed, you know, like, like the weather is amazing. In Chicago, it's crazy, it was 20 degrees. If Chicago got real cold, that means I'm cold, bougie. And I experienced my first LA winter, and that was adorable. It's like 70 degrees, mother are wearing scarves. Double wrap. Walking around like they own a castle. Take that shit off your neck. The sun is out, you know your neck is sweaty. Now you out here with a wet neck endangering the world. People with wet necks make bad decisions. Hitler had a wet neck the whole time. They left that out of the history book. In Finland, I was invited to take a sauna. I was also invited to go cross country skiing. And all I could think is, is fun illegal here? <laughs> what kind of antidepressant do you have to be on to enjoy cross-country skiing? <laughs> I, I can't believe cross-country skiing's even a sport. Hey, you know that awkward part in downhill skiing where you're trying to get over to the lift? <laughs> what if we just did that? And to turn around, you know what? Don't turn around. Let's go across the country. People who enjoy winter seem mentally unstable. Right? Some of those winter activities should get you committed. It's like, look, we love you. We're just worried. I mean, yesterday we caught you walking through the woods with tennis rackets tied to your feet. This morning, we saw you sweeping the frozen lake. <laughs> What's next? You sitting in a sled being pulled by dogs? <laughs> Get some help. Right now, it's nice outside. It is nice. I was here a little while back when you guys had a high of seven. <laughs> yeah, I'm from California. I, if there's a seven... Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too, you know? I don't know what a seven is unless there's like a four, five, six, or you know, something right behind it. Seven! You can't even scream at seven. Like, I, I go to my fridge at night and I sometimes I'll accidentally open the freezer and that's 30. Seven, there's no sound. You have 
to watch the Weather Channel here. You have to watch it. California? No, you don't have to. How's it gonna be tomorrow? Oh. It's so pretty. Here, you have to watch it. It could be a matter of life or death, man. And you gotta watch the Weather Channel. As you can see here on the West Coast in beautiful Southern California, it's gonna be a high of 84 with a low of 67. Chance of rain, not likely. Just enjoy your day here in beautiful Southern California. As you can see over here on the East Coast. <laughs> oh my God, just stay home, stay home. It's gonna be a high of seven with a low of Antarctica. Just stay home. I like winter as, as a person, and it's not a very popular opinion. It's like, uh, uh, I'm a minority again, big deal. It's not a big deal. But uh, I was trying to think why I like winter so much, and I think it's because in the winter, you can like keep a low profile. Like, what do, what do people wear in the winter? Like, everyone more or less wears the same thing, which is just like a potato sack sleeping bag, you know? Like, everyone more or less just wears like an indoor Snuggie. And you know, everyone just like huddles by each other on the street, and you're just like, good day. You don't even have to make eye contact. Like, all your secrets are safe. I feel like summer is the opposite of that. Like everything is out there. Everything is exposed. It's like the entire season, it's just like sponsored by skin and sweat. Like it's just like a deodorant commercial that nobody signed up for. And like in the summer, everyone has this like carefree attitude where it's kind of like there's this unspoken vibe in the air that's just like, I could start a podcast about anything. Like, what? No. Slow down, you know? Like, do you have a concept? Just reel it in a little bit. How about those Winter Olympics? They were exciting, weren't they? Finally, we got to figure out which country can slide down a hill faster. Oh, not Georgia. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Big luge fans are you here in San Fran? Take that luge seriously, don't you? The Winter Olympics are pointless. I'll say it. Are you kidding me? I assume the only reason we have them is so white people feel relevant in sports. <laughs> because other than that, the only thing the Winter Olympics show me is which country has more rich white kids? <laughs> What's it cost to go skiing? $900 a day? Oh, I can't believe that's not more popular in the inner cities. <laughs> mm. Hey, Latrell, you want to play basketball today? No, man, I'm going to Breckenridge. <laughs> oh, Lottie, <laughs> Uncle Tom, duh. Latrell's going to Breckenridge. I hate the summer games for that matter. I just don't want parents to be rewarded for encouraging their kids to forfeit their entire childhood, perfecting a sport no one cares about for three years and 11 months at a time. Then for one month, I gotta act as if the vault affects my patriotism. It doesn't. I hope you missed the jump and ribcage it. Yeah. <laughs> 